All right, well, I, uh, I left late today, and I locked my keys in the house. And that's a problem here. It's a, it's a bigger problem than you might think because not only can you not get in your house, you can't leave the property. You need a key to open the gate. So here I am with the scooter and I have multiple vehicles, but no way to leave and get Ushi. Now mind you, my tools haven't arrived yet either. I, I, don't, have, I don't have a tool set here. And the gate, has a lock that's a pretty sturdy lock. So I started just looking for a tool to undo the lock and my scooter has one, one wrench, just one. And it just so happened that this, the wrench in, that comes with my scooter fit the nuts that undid the lock exactly. So I was able to take apart the lock so I could pull apart the gate and go pick up my daughter. And now I'm late. I'm like, I should already be there. That's a whole new fear unlocked, all right? You can't, locking your keys out of the house is one thing, but normally you could, yeah, you just can't leave the property, holy cow. And think about that, I'm gonna have to leave a spare set of keys with the neighbor. The moment I closed the door, I knew, the very moment, the moment it, I was like, oh crap. My land, I was able to get hold of my landlord, and the, he was in, he was out of town, he's not in Valencia, he was in Dumaguete. So, after picking up Ushi, I'll go meet my landlord, grab the spare key, let myself in the house, take that back to him. Notice how they ride in your lane, right? Like, that's what I was saying. I don't have a problem with it. I'm not complaining. I'm not saying, I'm not saying anything negative about it. I'm saying, if you see me ride in people's lane occasionally, it's it's just because it's the norm, right? Like right now, if I want to ride in this lane, this guy's not going to get upset. I don't think it's something you should abuse, right? It shouldn't, but if you're in a rush and you need, you need to get around someone, Chin called the teacher to let her know that I was late. And they, they do stay late. They have activities that go on late, so it could be worse. didn't have five vents in it, what the heck? I saw you, man. I saw you checking out her butt. She put a big smile on your face, man. A big one. Saw him in the rearview mirror. And the 
again. I am late picking up my daughter, people. I am sorry. Gotta keep my rush on. Safe way 
to make sure that they don't start to turn as you go around them. And someone commented on my video that I beep too much. And I don't think, I personally don't think you can beep too much. I've been here, I've been here a few years myself. I've spent over two years here. And I'm, I'm not saying you're wrong, I'm not. I'm just saying I'd rather, I'd rather beep I'd rather, I'd rather piss someone off, right, than have a wreck. But I don't think anyone cares. Who's gonna care for a little beep? When these guys have exhaust systems that'll deafen you, right? Like nobody cares, it's like nobody, nobody complains about sound here. Sometimes a girl, I couldn't be the dude on the back, man. You can't let your girl be toting you around. Those are cool, right? I talk about those in all my videos, those little, uh, those trikes. Man, who she's gonna be mad at me. Batteries are only good for like, I don't know, maybe 20, 25 minutes or something. And it's a little bit of a pain in the butt to so swap them out. Try number three to complete this story. So I came out of the coffee shop and my battery was dead to my bike. I couldn't start it. Um, some scooters have kickstarts, these the bigger ones. Uh, they don't, so I didn't have, I shouldn't say the bigger ones, because they have 160cc, I shouldn't say that, the, the, I don't know how to describe it, the, like see this scooter and this scooter, these, they're kind of stout, they don't have kickstarts, these have kickstarts, like this one does, this one doesn't, or actually that may, that may the beat may, anyway, not all scooters have kickstarts, that one does. If you have a dead battery and you don't have a kickstart, you're, you're screwed. So, luckily I was at, the, at a high point in town and I was able to just coast down to a shop that was able to charge it. And they got me going again. So, a few days later, what do I do? I lock my keys in my house. I can't believe it. And you can't get in the house and you can't leave the property because you're inside a compound that has a concrete wall and a steel gate so I couldn't get a vehicle out there's never a boring day here now Ushi right now is in heaven Ushi are you in heaven right now? Are you in heaven? Are you happy? Yeah, are you chilling on the back? Yeah, you're laying on your, your seat rest? So I got that, it's called a, a top box. And they have them in all sizes, by the way. You can get these things massive. You can put your groceries in them. I got a, I think it's like a 40 liter or something like that. You can get some groceries in it. I can put my helmet in it. But 
some of them, not all of them, have nice foam backrests on it. And that was the game changer for Yushi. She loves it. She just leans back on that seat and chills. There's been a couple times where I was late to pick her up and I said, hey, um, it's because I was out in the car. I said, hey, I was out in the car. I was doing grocery shopping and I would have been late if I went home and get the scooter. And she said, dad, don't worry, be late. She said, I, I don't care. I'd rather you be 15 minutes late. favorite thing. Some nights she just wants to go riding on the scooter and I don't mind a bit. I love riding too. We'll we'll ride up to the top of uh, Casa Roro and we'll have dinner there. Uh, we'll eat at uh, Apollon Brewing Company which just happens to be one of the best Mexican places you can eat. You just have to sit and go at the pace of the other car in front of you most of the time. And some of these people learning to ride cars, man, they will just do literally 20 kilometers an hour. I'm talking 12 miles an hour or something. And they will they will maintain that, you know. Um, but also just the cost of gas. It's so cheap. Right? It's like three dollars a week or something. I don't know cost me nothing to just zoom around town day in and day out. Again, I said earlier, and it's been this way the whole day, some days, um, like today, I don't, I'm not using my little arm covers, my sleeves. Some days that sun stings, but today it feels perfect. You could, you can just, and there's not a cloud in the sky. But you could ride around the whole day today. Now see, this is this is the danger right here. See that little spot? If, if you go around this corner and hit that, those rocks, you, your bike could slide out from under you. job that uh, prevented me from staying. I didn't really have a choice. I would have stayed then. I was already in love with the country. But it's like living in the wild, wild west, except for they have scooters and cars, right? Like, um, it's not a lot different. Like, I would imagine the eateries would be like along the same caliber back in the like 1800s or something. Like, a lot of eateries are just houses or little little shacks on the side of the road where passers-by frequent, right? And it's not exactly, um, you know, FDA approved or whatever you call it where the city approves something. It's cool here because anyone can build a house. Anyone, there's, you don't have to be licensed. I don't know if it's true, but one of the guys here was telling me that if you build a house under $20,000, you don't, you can just build it, right? Like you can just, just buy, go buy whatever materials you want to build with and build. If it costs over $20,000, 
then you have to get a permit from the city. Now, I don't know how true that is, but I do trust the person who told me, and it's it's probably not far from that. It's, that's probably a, a translation from Philippine peso, right? So, let's say like a million pesos, or, or whatever that would be. But I've already heard stories of people that they just don't ask for permission. They just, they pour, they, they pour their driveway, they, they build their house, and they just don't ask. And I just think that's cool. If I want to build a house, I can build a house. I've always wanted to build a house. I'm sure I'll build a house. Now you can see it right now. You hit this a little fast, that silt on the road will send your bike sideways. But I think that's probably one of the bigger dangers here is just animals. Yeah, man, what are you doing? I had jokes, but I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna leave them be. Trying to be the new Bobby. Good jokes today. Yeah, the obelisk church. It's just what every pastor wants a big obelisk. Right? It just screams Christianity, it screams belief in Christ. journey continues so I'm leaving my landlord's house and he was able to give me a copy of the keys a spare key
I'm slowly learning my way around this town. Alessozzo. Yeah. Grade two. Thank you, Mayung Hapon. So it's 160 pesos to get to get the laundry done. I don't know how I'm going to do this yet. I really didn't think about it. But where there's a will, there's a way, right? I'm a firm believer in that. So. those of you wondering, uh, hold on. we're going to figure this out. Don't know how I'm going to do it. Come on, Ushi, hop on. Yeah, I'll get it. Don't worry. All right. You reach around and hold it. Reach around with your hands. Hold the plastic. Yeah. Hold down. Hold the red part. There you go. Crap, can't, I can barely turn. The handlebars hit it. All right. So, if you saw in my little money pouch, no, I don't. I don't walk around balling with sixty thousand pesos. I wouldn't it, think it'd be stupid to do that anyway. I bought a car and I make the final payment on it today. Um, I bought it from a friend, so she gave me. You know, she gave me a week to pay for it. So that's why I had a big stack of uh, cash in there. It's to pay off the car. Because I forgot my keys and my wallet on the table because I left in a rush. Oh, and back to the laundry. So this is a week's worth of laundry. And now mind you, they supply the detergent, the electricity, they supply everything. They fold it all. So a week's worth of laundry to be washed and folded is 160 pesos. Now it's 55 pesos to the dollar, 
So that is $3. So for $3, all of my laundry is washed, smells good, and it's all folded and wrinkle-free, $3 a week. That's, that's one, you know, it's my socks, my underwear, it's everything. And they do a great job. So living in the Philippines is very affordable. If you have any kind of US pension or remote job or even a good job in the Philippines, you know, you could be an English teacher here. It would be a great life. Better than you're gonna live as an, uh, you know, an architect in the US, in my opinion. I'd rather, I'd rather live here. These little girls, they always run up to the gate when they see me. They run up and, hi, hi. And they're the cutest little girls. They're so cute. They are, right? They're, they are cute, Ushi. They're cute, cute little, oops, sorry. Cute little girls. No. Hello. My own hop on. I got you, I got you, don't worry. All right, now, first, let me think here, what do we gotta do? You think you can hold it? Huh? Okay, get, get your bottles. We got stuff going on here, I need to. it from the inside. You see I couldn't leave earlier. I locked myself out of the house.